I mean, I think this was my uh, LinkedIn profile at some point or something, or? Whoa. Wow, this is bad. In this video, I will show you how powerful image search is nowadays because of artificial intelligence. So I subscribed to PimEyes.com and I got the highest possible subscription available, the one that allows you to go through uh, image search for the deep web. And I thought like, and you know what, in this video, I'm going to go and search for myself online. And uh, this is the first time that I'm going to be doing this under the subscription. I did a basic search yesterday, but it was kind of okay. Uh, but I thought like it would be interesting to capture my actual uh, emotions or how this actually works live and uh, see how it goes. Like I wanted also to dig more into it, into the service, because I heard only about the bad things. Uh, like, oh, this allows uh, uh, people to uh, look up uh, others and like stalk them or something. But at the same time, this could also help um, protect yourself uh, against uh, people or websites or whatever entities that could put your image online that uh, you didn't really approve for that image to be uh, posted or uploaded there. So uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, love-hate relationship around this kind of services, especially that uh, like now I started reading the news, uh, the new, uh, news articles on the website itself. And as you can see here, this kind of services were used to identify people during the capital uh, events uh, in the States a few years ago. Uh, a few years ago, I think, what was it, two or three years ago? They are very powerful. And to look at the pricing, let's look here. Uh, build monthly, the Open Plus plan is at $40 per month. And the Protect is at $109 Canadian, I'm saying. And this basically means that uh, they will assign some agents for a number of minutes per uh, month. And they will basically track your images online. And if they see like uh, they shouldn't be somewhere, they will basically... Uh, draft uh, DMCA and uh, GDPR that's more on the uh, European European side for privacy uh, but they will basically try their best to take out your images and the advanced plan allows for deep search and that's basically a more thorough search sorry and it allow you to do PDF and CSV result exporting so I am really interested in this one, to be honest, because I believe, like, I just paid for it, so I'm kind of like, uh, I hope it's worth it. Uh, but uh, I believe that uh, this could be even uh, a service that you provide. Uh, if you are incorporated or something, like, you can uh, provide the service for people so that you can uh, look up the information online, you can help save them. That said, let's go ahead and upload photos. No, I want you to upload, not, okay. Now what I did is I went to my backups and I found a few pictures of me, some random pictures, and I said, okay, this should be good enough. Uh, you can select up to five files. Okay, so let's say only five. Here you go. And now it's processing. Uh, <laughs> This one of the videos is from a thumbnail for YouTube. One is like I was traveling. I don't know. I was just enjoying my curly hair uh, when it was shorter. And one is on vacation as well. Select photo of your face to proceed with the search. So, well, they are all basically me. So let's go with this one. Add more photos for more results. Dude, I just did that. I've uploaded the same picture. Okay, upload photo.
Oh, okay. So let's see. What's the second picture? I should have been. I should have been more methodological. Uh, okay. Let's try this one. Photos of your face. Well, they're all me, bro. Okay, didn't identify this picture. This is interesting. Maybe it's not as great as I thought it would be. Uh, search time. I need time, okay. And I want a deep search. I confirm at M18. Start search. Is this a real counter? It can be that fast. What is this? This is my, I think this was my graduation. So this is, this is a Concordia website. I don't know why I would be there to be honest. <laughs> what? I, I, <laughs> I didn't know that we were even put there on this website. This is pretty interesting. This is for the uh, KPMG, I think, uh, or what is it? KGP. Okay, so I think this was a project management uh, case competition, and uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, at least my name. My name is there. I was gonna say at least my name isn't there, but no, nope. yeah. And these are the guys I did the case competition with. Okay, interesting. Let's move on. Uh, what picture I wouldn't recognize? So I'm guessing this is like a TikTok or something. Yeah. And two, 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 two. okay, these are all like publicly available. I think this was my. Uh, LinkedIn profile at some point or something or Whoa. Wow, this is bad. In the interest of uh transparency here I might uh, blur the results that I just looked at this basically uncovered a pseudonym that I have for reddit one of my accounts on reddit oh what I don't even recall putting that picture there how I'm gonna have to look more into this but no, this is bad. This is, oh, this is an account that I use for crypto stuff. <laughs> so people know how much I have or something. Oh my God, this is bad. I really did not see this through because I recognized this picture. It was from vacation in Costa Rica. And I was like, yeah, this is probably like the picture I uploaded to Facebook or uh, uh, to LinkedIn or something, but I don't recall putting it on Reddit. How the heck? What? Well, <laughs> on the bright side, these are all pictures that I know of. Meta Versum WF Sony. I don't know why my picture is there somewhere. Oh, I guess some uh, websites published my YouTube uh, video or something. I don't know. Uh, open image. Yeah. I guess uh, they published my one of the reviews I did and they put it there on the website. That's why my face is there. So this is okay. But uh, <laughs> the picture about 
the case competition was kind of funny uh, that I didn't even know that we were published there, uh, like the pictures were published there. But the one about Reddit is really alarming. I didn't, I didn't know what to expect when I was going through with this kind of subscription and the search, but I didn't expect something this bad. Like uh, it actually uncovered a an, an anonymous uh, account for me. And now that I think about it, uh, I'll try to do more image search. Maybe do another video uh, in the short term, like in the short future, near future. Sorry. And I will try to look more into it, but <laughs> because now I believe I put some pictures of myself on other like uh, internet forums saying like, this is only a picture of me. Like it's not that uh, high resolution, whatever, like nobody cares. Nobody's gonna know who I am. Luckily, I am usually very, very nice, even when I'm hiding behind a keyboard. So that should work in my favor. <laughs> but at the same time, Oof. What? So I used to work for Orange. Am I actually here? What? How? What is this? Bear's official store. Company Orange. So you can... I guess this is information that they're scraping of uh, LinkedIn. What is this company? Okay, let's go for the US Navy. Well, maybe let's not go after it. Let's not look at the US Navy. Let's look at Microsoft. And then you can filter by employees. Okay, so this is pretty much open source intelligence. Uh, it's not bad, but I didn't know about this website before. So. Okay, I don't care that much to be honest about that. So, do I have something else that I wanted to look at? Uh, Gannett website. Herald Tribute. <laughs> oh my god! What? So it's what the hell? I don't recall somebody taking a picture of us. What the heck? Retail reporter Maggie Mendersky hits the trail searching for a holiday shopper. Meanwhile, the whiskey fall seems to be Sarasota's unseasonably warm weather. <laughs> I was not aware that we were there on this like website. We're part of what? <laughs> oh my god, this is okay. Now I gotta look at the other sites because the images I was thinking, like, you know what? Uh, uh, I know these images, it's not a big deal. I know that, uh, uh, like, this is my face, but probably I put it on Facebook or LinkedIn. I don't know, so why this website doesn't want to show the rest, but this I guess it's taking it from TikTok, so it's all right. Uh... This is also tech media, so I'm guessing this is also website. So this is scraping uh, data from TikTok. I want to do another search, but uh, uh, I'll add the images in Maybe I'll send them to myself here. I'll go to Amazon Photos on my phone because then I'm going to search by people since I have unlimited uh, uploads for pictures. And is it working? Let's see. Okay, now I'm going to do another search for another set of my pictures just to see if uh, the results are different. I hope it's going to take this under a different search. Okay, so add more photos, add photo, upload photo, out the second one here.
the scary face is because I am in the gym and I'm trying to get back in shape. Upload photo. Say the third one here. Oh, okay. I guess it has enough. Pro proceed to the search, deep search, anytime. What's impressive is that the deep search takes only 10 seconds or so. So it seems to be the same image here that we were talking about. Okay, so I didn't find everything. Uh, I'm guessing this is the... Yes, it is! <laughs> I'm still... Interesting face. And add more photos for better results. I'm going to add this last picture here. Proceed. And this is deep search. Yeah. Try to upload better quality. Okay, well, let's see. It's crazy. The search is actually taking less than 10 seconds. So I'm getting the same kind of results. So this was kind of scary. I really did not think I would be seeing this kind of information. At the, as I said before, the first uh, uh, picture here, like for uh, the case competition for during my MBA, was funny because I didn't know it was there. There was actually an image also when, uh, uh, when we were like uh, on the beach in Florida a few years ago. Uh, did I lose that? I, no, it's here. So that was also like a surprise. And the problem was with the anonymous account that I thought I had. And this tool basically exposed it. Wow. Using this kind of tools is interesting because, as I said, like some people, what they say is, they're kind of scary because uh, uh, they uh, they give the power to stalkers to do some damage and like uh, follow people around and get more information. But to be honest, this is like uh, to me, I guess this is another tool in the open source open source intel uh, intelligence or synth, which in security means like you look at what's available online. And uh, or basically there is a picture and you try to understand from the background of the picture what's going on, where, uh, where this person located and try to infer some information uh, in hopes of uh, at some point uh, hacking them and getting uh, some uh, sensitive information out of them or out of their companies, right? This leads to social engineering and everything. But this tool will basically make it easier uh, for attacks to do that. But at the same time, uh, it will also help people uh, find what information is about them, like what information is out there about themselves and try to combat it, try to combat uh, deep fakes. So it has a lot of benefits as well. And as I said, if you are an entrepreneur, uh, consider getting this kind of account because uh, I think if you offer it, if you have enough reach, you can offer it to people on a certain like search basis and then you can make money out of it uh, so it's pretty interesting cool i hope this video has been informative if it was please consider subscribing and thumbs up and um, if you didn't like the video also let me know since i am new youtuber so i'm trying to figure out everything and uh, yeah see you in the next video <laughs> i'm sorry i'm still in shock from what i found see you in the next video take care